So last week, I remember saying that I felt like there was something up with, uh, what is her name? Candace and her fiance, right? And it just didn't sit right with me because I was just like, something is up with him, but I don't know enough. So I went and I did my own little research and actually I kind of had a bit of change of heart about the relationship because I feel like it's the real deal. I really, really do. I think that the both of them have a love for each other. I don't think that it's like some relationship that they made up for TV or to get any kind of fame. I think it's really two people who were in the same situation or whatever, or worked in the same place and just fell in love, right? I still stand by the fact that I think that if uh, Candace's boyfriend or fiance was black and had as, as much baggage as he has, that he would not have been a viable choice for her, that her family, especially her mother, would have had some pushback. I stand by that because I just could not see a family like that with somebody who comes from money, who is as decorated as Candace is. She's very, look her up. She's very, she has a ridiculous resume. She used to work for the Obamas. Like she is stacked. So I don't see what the attraction is, but, but I, I do understand a white, male being able to be accepted into that family because of it's whether or not he has money or whatever it's a privilege that they don't have so for people who have money or who are or who are trying to move up some kind of social ladder that is a way in getting a partner who is from just skin privilege you know what I mean I still stand by that but I do think that there is something real there in that relationship. I really do. Just watching the both of them, I think that there is really a love there. Not watching, but just from what I have found out, I do think that there is a love there. But I also think that Candace need to watch her man on social media because I've saw a few things that he tweeted and I was just like, mm, this was fine when y'all wasn't on TV, but baby, he can't be tweeting like that, especially about things concerning black Americans. Hold your man off, girl. Delete his Twitter and you'll be fine on this show. Now, Let's get into this review. So I want to apologize that it's a little late. Mother's Day was yesterday. I was celebrating my mom the whole day. I did not watch a lick of TV, but I'm catching up tonight. And hopefully I'll get this up to you within the next few hours. So let's do it. So we pick back up where the argument with uh, Giselle and Candace left off. It's awkward now. Relationships are strained. Ladies are finding their rooms and it's uncomfortable, right? So then Candace jumps on the phone and starts like being hella ratchet. Hmm. You just don't pick that up because you have this color, okay? When you do all of this and all of that, it's because you're from somewhere and you've been around something. Something going on with this girl, something in the water ain't clean. She got a sick resume, but something, I feel like the story we're getting is not the whole truth. Anyway, she is going off on her phone and then drunk Monique, okay? Speak some wisdom into her. And this is what I was saying last week. Um, in my review, you guys were just saying, oh no, what they did to her wasn't right. It wasn't okay. I get that. I don't agree, right? But what I'm saying concerning how these shows go, when you are the new girl, yes, you can clap back, but you can't isolate yourself. And that is what Monique was trying to let her know. She was like, listen, I get you, right? But I don't want you to isolate yourself. She was trying to tell her as much as she could tell her while they were on camera. Probably after the cameras left, she got down to the nitty gritty and was just like, you don't want to make no enemies from no OGs because it's not going to work well for you because what's going to happen is they have more seniority, not just with production, with us. And if they do not agree with you, we're going to have to ride with them because we're a team. That's just how it is. Real talk. That's why if a new girl comes in and she's fighting everybody, she don't last. I remember, what's her name? Jacqueline. I think that's who she is. She was like Miss Puerto Rico and she was on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and I loved her on there. But she kept on getting into arguments with almost everybody. The only person she was cool with was Brandy. Then that fell apart and it was just, I felt so bad for her because I knew she wasn't coming back because she had nobody to really shoot or film anything with because she was on the outs with everyone. And I don't want that to happen to Candace because I think she's a good character and a good fit on the show. And I think that is what Monique was trying to tell her. Uh, she sobered up kind of quick though, but she was trying to let her know. And that's what I was trying to say. Like she can't come on the show and just start getting into beefs with everybody because she won't have anyone to film with. The only person she will have is who? Uh, Ashley, who was getting her life when that argument was going on. <laughs> She's so petty. She's just happy it's not her for once. But I'm just like, 
if you and Ashley fall out, then who you got? Monique already let you know she's going to side with Sharice. Giselle is um, going to side with Sharice. Robin is going to side with Giselle. Uh, the Grand Dom is trying to tell you from the sidelines, but she's going to side with them because the girls who have been there have more pull. That's just how the game goes. I want her to stand up for herself, but I don't want her to put herself off this show. So she has to find a balance. That's all I was saying. And that's what Monique was trying to tell her as well. Like I said before, I do think that it is risky for Michael to get in between Ashley and her mother. I don't agree with what her mother is doing. And I feel really bad for Ashley. I think she is being, in a sense, manipulated by two very important people in her life, her husband and her mother. Her husband manipulates her with his money and then her mother manipulates her with just being her mom. So, she, so like, so her biggest issues right now is money, but it's being extracted from her in different ways. Like if she doesn't do what Michael wants, he won't give her anything. If um, she doesn't give her mother um, the money that she is requesting, then it puts a strain in her relationship. And she has been someone since she was a child who was chasing her mother. It was never the other way around. So I feel bad for her. I think she's stuck between a rock and a hard place. I think her mother is toxic, but I don't think that she's gonna pull away from her without getting the help that she needs. And that's also a huge relationship. To just tell someone to cut her off, don't give her what she needs. Step away from her and leave her alone. That's not going to happen overnight. It might not even happen in years. You know what I mean? She needs a lot of therapy to just break that chain. And then with this husband holding the money over her, it's, it's, I think it's just going to be resentment around on both sides. She's going to resent the two most important people in her life. And I don't see it going anywhere good at this point. I see her heading for a divorce with Michael and I see her having an even more strained relationship with her mom. And I just feel bad for her because I don't see a situation right now with her winning because she's going to risk her marriage and keep her mom. And if she does keep her mom, then she's going to be drained from her mom. And if she does cut off her mom, she loses her mom and she loses her little sister. It's just, it's not easy. It's not easy. And I feel, I always get upset when people tell her what to do, especially the ladies. Oh, you have to do this. You have to, it's like, none of y'all in this situation. Don't tell her what she needs to do. I think it's just going to be a long process for Ashley. And I mean, I wouldn't want to be in that situation at all. So like, I don't think anybody would want to be in that situation. So I don't know how people can tell her what to do if they're not in it. Also, I feel like Candace needs to walk lightly because making her mom this pest uh, for a storyline on this show, I don't think is wise because at the end of the day, the mom is putting her bill for her and her husband. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, you got to be quiet. You're talking about your mom being a pest, speaking of the devil. She won't let me go. She needs to have boundaries. Then stop letting her pay for everything. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't have her pay for you and your husband to survive and then say, well, you can't come around whenever you feel like it. If her name is on the um, mortgage, yes, she can. If she's putting money into your account, yes, she can. If you don't want your mother to be in all of your business, stop having her pay for your life. You have to grow up. If you want those boundaries, then you and your husband need to survive on your own. And we both know that's not going to happen. So let your mother run up and down that townhouse as much as she can because she owns it. Now, if you want her to cut you off, be ready for what's about to come. Because you keep on saying your man ain't got no money. Oh, just, I would never. Even if my man is broke, I would never let the world know. I can't believe she came on TV and said he ain't got no money. <laughs> my mama taking care of us. Never. Never. Won't catch me embarrassing my bae. Shoot. But I wouldn't be with no broke man. I'm broke on my own. What, what me and you gonna do broke together? Nothing. Team Karen on this one. Team Grand Dom. Listen. Just because the person who offended you has moved on from the offense doesn't mean that you have. I think that Karen in the moment with Giselle and Sharice or whatever decided just to move on for the sake of the show. You know what I mean? Because you can't be miserable in a working environment. You just got to realize that this person is this way and I got to move on if I want to get my check, right? That doesn't mean the hurt isn't still there. So I agree with her bringing this up and just like, you know what? I'm going to need, yes, you apologize, right? I'm also going to need for you to apologize to my husband. And if you did the offense and you're okay with doing that, then okay. They both agree. But then what I don't like is Robin jumping in. I just feel like it's just really weird to me how she is so protective of Giselle. And I don't see Giselle reciprocating that at all. Their relationship to me feels like Portia and Phaedra. I feel like Robin will protect Giselle at all costs. 
I don't think that Giselle is falling on any swords for Robin unless it's going to benefit her. It's just really unfortunate because she's jumping into the situation for, with Karen and she's like, don't even come here. Don't even do it. This was not about you. Why are you trying to get in a mix of it? And I just feel like Robin is just being messy as well. And I'm like, she was really hurt by that. If you guys were really friends, which I do believe that they are really friends because guys, they hang out outside of the show. None of these housewives do that. Potomac is the only one. I think it's because they're the newest. They still really have friendships, right? And like strong relationships. At least now. I mean, we're in season three. I don't know what they're going to be at a season 10. Um, but they do really have friendships, right? So I think if you're going to offend somebody who has been in your life for real and you do have a real relationship, the right thing to do is to get it right. And I just don't understand why Robin was getting into the mix of that when it seemed like they were getting a resolution. Like Giselle and Sharice was just like, listen, you're right. We will do what we have to do. We will apologize to him. And then Robin jumps in and just mixes it all back up again. And it's just like, it was unnecessary. We were getting peace. Why did you have to jump in and destroy that? Robin, worry about your own backyard because we know how these shows go. You start off good and then you take a deep dive down. Let's just hope you have a great season. Mind your business, worry about your man. I just want you to grow up and get your own panties. <gasps> And I can't believe that they are, these housewives, none of them, from Beverly Hills to OC to New York to Atlanta, to Jer none of them know how to dine at a fine dining restaurant. They always mess it up. This restaurant is beautiful. This whole, this whole uh, location, wherever they are, I gotta look it up again. I am planning on going because I want some kind of trip like this. If Ashley's uh, broke granddaddy can make it up there, so can I. But I am just disgusted about how they were handling themselves at this restaurant. I mean, it was just embarrassing. You're at a white gloved restaurant and you're acting like you're at hula hands. Come on, ladies. Come on. <laughs> this whole apology session, <laughs> They are literally trying to train Karen, um, Karen to apologize to Robin. If it's going wrong, it's going so wrong. She apologized, but I can't. I'll keep the dizzy. I meant the dizzy. No, you can't say that, Karen. Oh, I apologize for the dizzy too. <laughs> but I got that fire in my belly. You can't say butt, Karen. Oh. <laughs> good show this is a really really good one I'm glad I got into it now because I couldn't get into it before but I think with having such lackluster seasons from Beverly Hills Jersey and Atlanta I was looking for something and I found it definitely in Potomac and New York so thank you guys for recommending this one this is the thing with Monique and the drinking right I'm not hoping that she does have a drinking problem I just if there is a reason for her being edited like this, then okay, I understand. If it's not, like she doesn't have a drinking problem, this is really in poor taste because she's being edited like she's a drunk, like she has an issue, she drives drunk, she makes up lies to cover up her poor drunken behavior. And I don't like it. I don't like it because at this point they have not presented anything to, to support that storyline that she's this drunk and i'm just like I, I i'm i really hope that she's not but i need something happening this season to make sense of how she's being edited because this just looks really tacky if she doesn't have an issue at all and she's being painted as somebody who has a problem when she really doesn't because that could be very damaging to somebody's career especially someone who is trying to live a very put together up echelon kind of life you know images everything in those kind of communities so I, I'm just hoping that um there's a reason why this is happening and not um just due to like poor editing, tacky storyline, and you know sensationalism from producers. I'm, ugh, I don't know. I, I don't like it, guys. I don't like it because there hasn't been anything to support this, and it's 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 it will be terrible if she if she doesn't have an issue. It really really would and be. I will question the production as why they would do that. It's still early. But right now, I'm like, okay, we just have rumors. We don't have any, like, truth. We don't have her admitting anything. We just have you guys put, making sure to put little things in there to make us, to get the wheels turning that maybe she got a drinking problem. 
Ugh. What do you guys think? Do you actually think she has a drinking problem or is this just due to an edited storyline? Let me know in the comment section below because I'm feeling very conflicted about that and I want to know if I'm alone or if I do have people who feel the same way. So let us just know how you're feeling about this Monique storyline. I don't see Robin buddying up to Candace going well for her at all. Giselle has made her mark. Her She has drawn her line in the sand concerning Candace and Robin being her buddy buddy. I don't think it's going to work at all. That's going to cause some friction and I don't know if Robin is going to stand her ground against Giselle. But it's an interesting storyline now. Now seeing her and Candace buddying up, I'm just like, hmm. This is something I'm interested to see. Will, just, uh, will Robin stand her ground and be her own person and be like, I like her. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with me liking her and being friends with you. Or will she turn against Candace to please Giselle? What do you guys think? Do you think that Robin is going to turn against Candace to please Giselle? Or do you think she's going to stand her ground and be her own woman? I'm leaning towards turn against Candace, but I have I haven't really been focusing on her in the few the last past season, so I'm not really sure about that. But from what I've received thus far in this season, I'm fi I feel like she's going to do anything to please Giselle, and that even if that means like throwing Candace under the bus. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. My comment section is going to be hella shady. I'm looking forward to it. Can I just say that it's so weird that Sharice has all of these scenes. Like, she's in every scene. She has confessionals, but she's not in, like, the cast promo. That's so weird how she has such a huge role on this show for the past few episodes, but she doesn't, she's not getting, like, paid cast member money. She's getting paid, like, friend money, like a friend of the show. I don't know if that was her doing or the producers doing, but it's just really weird to me. I've never seen somebody who was a friend of the show have this many confessionals and this many scenes. Weird. Why is that? Did she get into it with somebody on the show? Who got the tea? Let me know. I don't believe that Karen was hugged up with blue eyes at Oz. Um, if she was doing that, then that's definitely storyline. But I don't think if she was like cheating on her husband that she would take the dude that she's cheating with her husband to Ashley's restaurant. That doesn't make sense to me. And, you know, she said that her stepson, obviously Michael's son, saw them doing it. And no tea, no shade, but you know how white people can't tell us apart. So I really feel like they saw just some black person with some black woman with a guy with blue eyes and was just like, that's Karen and blue eyes. That's what I think happened. I don't think that Karen would do that if she's really trying to go undercover and be slick. If she did, it's for storyline of the show. Either way, I'm here for it. Let's get into Let's spice this season up, okay? Um, I'm good for team building. I don't need to risk my life to do it. This team building thing that they're doing all the way up in the sky, like it's Cirque du Soleil, I don't understand. It don't make no sense to me why we got to go all the way up there to build as a team and to trust each other. Can we do a trust fall on some grass or like a nice uh gymnastics mat? This right here don't make no sense. Go ahead on and lose your lives over a TV show won't be me. I also like that moment with Ashley and Robin because I hate to see them fight. I think that they would be really good friends if they didn't get into it all the time and I think a lot of their issues come from the fact that Ashley will look at Robin as if she was her mother and I feel like maybe instead of apologizing she made that comment. I'm so happy that I'm up here with you. I would never want to be you know and we know how some people are just really sweet to you instead of apologizing. So I do like this moment with them because I feel like it's Ashley letting go and kind of extending the olive branch to Robin and just letting her know that you know I'm sorry I want to move forward let's work on building a relationship and a friendship and Robin is re very receptive to that and I like it because I feel like this season might just be if Robin holds her ground and stands by being friendly to Candace I think we might have a younger girls against the older girls kind of season and for this show I'm okay with it I don't like it on any other show but I think this show needs another layer of spice and I think that may be able to get some things going and it also may secure another season for Candace because right now how it's going she keeps on bucking up like that we won't see her much longer stay woke they will pull that seniority card in a second. That's why a lot of your favorite young girls only had one season because they will pull that seniority and get that heifer out of there. All they got to do is say, I'm refusing to film with her. Let three of them cast members say they don't want to film with her. 
she won't get another season. Stay woke. Oh, Monique, you should have just sat there and ate your food. Sweetie, she tried to throw Candace under the bus and actually lifted up that bus and pulled her friend out and threw Candace under it. Because Candace is just, the thing is, I think she was showing Sharissa she was her friend, you know what I mean? Like taking up for her friend and trying to like check Candace in the group, but doing it in a way where... It's, I'm not really checking you. I'm giving you some love so that Candace wouldn't like bite back. But she didn't expect for Ashley to be like, no, that's what you told her to do. So she did it. <laughs> Mommy was like, what? Who said that? Who said that? Yes, she was, baby. And she was caught. But I like... This is the thing, right? Ashley gets on my nerves sometimes, but I like how she holds people to what they say. Like, she does not play. She was not going to let Monique leave Candace under that bus. And then Candace started to buck up a bit. And I was like, slow your roll, sis. Slow your roll. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not saying it's okay, y'all. I'm just saying you want to secure another check. So just watch how you get on the outs with people because if Ashley is your only ally, you're not coming back. So when she was getting it on with Monique, I was just like, just let it, let it, let it go. Especially because she a little tipsy, let it go, let it go. But I do like how before the food came out, they were able to resolve whatever kind of issue. I think just a little bit with her and Sharice, they were able to kind of squash it. They, uh, they kind of gave like these, uh, not, Charisse, but you know, Candace kind of gave a little apology, but she was still kind of chuckling at calling her a geriatric granny. So, although I feel like they squashed it, I don't think it's done with. Oh, so this episode is just they just need to call it bust because everybody is being thrown under it. I'm thinking all the drama is done because the food is out, the ladies are drinking, and then messy Robin. <laughs> She is the bone carrier, okay? The Creole bone carrier of this season. She turns to Monique and she's just like, I just wanted to make sure you're okay because Ashley said you had four drinks before you crashed your car. <laughs> oh. If Ashley could have walked, got under that table and disappeared, she would have done it because she wasn't ready. And I'm just like, Robin, you guys were in a good place. Why are you doing this? <sighs> but keep it up, girl. This is a juicy episode. <laughs> Oh, Monique, they are painting you as the drunk, sis. And then the excuses you were giving, I'm leaning towards drunk. Oh, because, okay, first of all, I don't like what Ashley did. Because she's going to go back and say she had four martinis. Then we're going to at least two or three. Wait a minute, that's not four. You know what I mean? But still, Monique was wrong for having some drinks and driving. People do it all the time. I know people just like, oh, I just had two drinks. You're still like... You still are putting something in your body that can change your mood and how, that can affect your body, right? It can affect your mood. It can affect how you do things. It, it literally is a suppressant. It slows you. Alcohol is a suppressant. It slows you down. You know what I mean? Whether you think you're driving fine or not, just don't do it. And then Monique is like, well, I was just starting to feel sleepy. That's what alcohol does. <laughs> like, it's, it's a downer, baby. So, like, I don't know. I just... Ah, uh, she is being painted as the drunk in the receipts that they are giving. I'm like, mm. But then I'm side-eyeing Ashley because you're not giving the right information. And you're saying this to other people, but you're not saying it to her. If she is your friend and you're concerned, like how she said, I was really concerned for you. Why didn't you say it to her? Why did you go to all the other ladies? And had Robin not brought it up, you would have never said anything to her. So, I don't know. I just feel like everybody's being messy for the sake of storyline. And I don't like when it gets too obvious. But so far, so good. I just have to say this, right? Ashley can't get mad at Cameron for bringing up <laughs> that man that Michael was allegedly with. Because you're doing the same thing. that Like, you're accusing her of doing something. So, she's throwing it back. Yes, it may be deflecting. But honey, if she got a bone to pick and throw at you, she gonna throw it. So address it, deal with it, and move on. And she did, but it was just like, she got offended by that. And I'm like, you don't think at this table asking her if she's cheating or her husband is going to offend her? I just don't understand how these ladies just act so surprised and shocked when the same behavior that they're exuding is thrown back to them. They remind me a lot of uh, Drag Race. I don't know if you guys watch Drag Race, but they are the same way. They will be shady to another queen and then be shocked when the queen is shady back. And it's just like, you did the same thing the following episode. So what are you talking about? <sighs> Nobody here takes responsibility. In the words of Lisa Renna, own it. Go to Bravo Teeth. <sighs> 
Charisse, I'm liking you, even though everybody who watches Barbie View is telling me I shouldn't. I still kind of like Charisse, and you guys are like, she's horrible. I can't believe you like her. But I do, but I don't like what she did. I don't like how she said uh, what Karen told her in confidence. Well, not in confidence, but I don't think that she expected her to tell everybody at the table that Ray asked her for a divorce. I don't think it's anything big. I think when we watch the episode next week, it's going to be like, well, he wanted to divorce me to not bring me into the tax issue. I think it's going to be something like that. I could be wrong, but I just don't like how Sharice did that. And again, for her to be a friend, she has a lot of scenes. She has a lot of confessionals. This is weird. It's just really, really weird to me. But that's where it ends. I saw the preview for next week. It looks good. It looks good. And I cannot wait to watch it and review it. So if you like what you see here, please join me next week. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you for the following episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac. Bye, guys.